Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, uh, I'm gonna show you how to install Docker on Proxmox. So, obviously you're gonna need a Proxmox host for this, so I've got mine here, my main server at home, that is located in my uh, cabinet. Uh, so basically, um, what you're gonna need is a uh, container, uh, so you can run a Debian container or an Ubuntu one um, through an LXC container. If you want to know more about them, just let me know in the comments and I'll make a video on LXC containers um, and do, you know, overall a full in-depth guide on um, what they are and their advantages and disadvantages compared to Docker. Without further ado, obviously, uh, let's get into it. So you can see, obviously, we're on the Proxmox web interface. All we're going to do first off is um, go to our local disk. In my case, I'm using my NAS, so it's under ISOs, and click on CT templates. Once you've done that, click on templates again, and then you get loads of templates here. So I'm going to just search for Ubuntu, and we're going to get uh, 23 or 4, the latest version. So that's going to download off the internet. What it does, um, I've already got it, so it's here. Next is clicking create CT. So, give it a name, so I'm just going to call it YT Docker. Then the password, set it as whatever you want. And then on template, select your, yours will be the local disk, mine's on ISOs, and select Ubuntu. Next, click on disks, give it a size, so I'm just going to give it 32 gigs of storage. And then click on um, give it some CPU so I'll just give it 4 gigs of RAM with 4 cores and 1 gig of swap network uh, I'll just put it uh, on my default one and click on DHCP so it dynamically gets an IP address from the router go to DNS um, mine's local yours might be different and I'm just going to use Cloudflare's you can also use Google's uh, just because some ISPs block Cloudflare's click on next click start I've figured and then click on finish so now it's going to create the container and um, along with the um, you can actually SSH by default into these uh, but it's created because it says task ok here so now you can see it at the side I'm just going to put a tag on uh, YouTube uh, so then you know so here's the summary page if we go to console and then the username is root by default and then the password is the one that you entered and then what we're going to do is do apt get update and then and and twice apt get upgrade space dash y press enter it's going to then uh, do a full update and upgrade uh, of ubuntu to the latest packages version um, obviously depending on your internet speed and disk speed depends on how long it does take whilst we wait for this um, I have released um, HSV1 uh, which if you don't know what it is uh, watch this upcoming <laughs> hope you enjoyed that um, if you want to obviously subscribe to some of our services go to one.hsv.org so anyway you can see we're fully upgraded so if we do apt-get install docker.io and then space docker-compose-y now it's going to install docker itself uh, pretty you know straightforward and um, while it does that I'll just show you the HSV1 website so this is what it looks like obviously it looks a bit different for me um, but you can see this is what it looks like um, we've got obviously a few services some are coming soon but cloud storage starts from 99 pence a month uh, up to obviously 18 quid a month for 5 terabytes of storage 
so if you want to obviously check that out and subscribe uh, please do check it out I'll leave a link in the description below also you can see we're done if we go to portainer.io and then go to scroll down install wherever it's gone I cannot find it maybe click get started um, it's very very confusing um, the portainer website we click docker slash swarm hopefully that'll take us um, to the documentation page docs.portainer.io um, I'll leave a link in the description but we're just going to go through this docker standalone docker volume create that then paste that command in so docker it downloads what's called images so think of these like ISOs really um, it's a installation file once that's done hostname dash i capital i it's 35 so 1 and 2 1 6 8 not dot 35 colon 9443 make sure https is at the start click advanced proceed and now you can obviously create your password and then click get started so that's docker installed and um, the next video if you want to see it please do leave a like uh, I'm going to go through some um, brilliant containers for your home lab anyway thanks ever so much for watching um, if you did like this video please do leave a like and consider subscribing also consider um, checking out HSV1 um, if you want some cloud storage for very cheap uh, please do consider checking it out from the link in the description also consider subscribing as we are so close to 6,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.